Hi, welcome to this video. This is Ergonix B Deeping and uh, pretty soon we'll be starting the tutorials about uh, deeping and it's a specific kind of desktop. It's quite eye candy and um, well, we're gonna have a look. So this is our login screen. We type in our password. This is VirtualBox and uh, there are some tips in here. One of the tips is you have to wait until everything is loaded up. So before I press any Control Alt T or anything of those keyboard shortcuts we kind of love, then you do after everything is installed, you do just Control Alt T. And it's not termite you're getting, it's deeping terminal. It's a specific kind of look. Um, you can tweak it and theme it any way you see fit. And it's up here. So we've done already some tweaking. Um, why a video about Arch Linux B deeping? Well, because of the fact that we re-examined, revisited deeping because I wanted to make tutorials for it. And I said, well, let's have a look at the Arch Linux B deeping and provide this guy with a specific kind of configuration. Meaning, if you type now and take a look at all the Arch Linux packages, we have now also a configuration package for Deepin itself. So that's uh, the new part and the new part is where for instance you can go inside here. So Pamac, Pamac opens up with this icon, red icon, telling hey there are updates to do but there is also Control alt p So a lot of the shortcuts that's one of the things that we've done as well like the super shift return is giving us two in R so we have two uh, file managers and we'll talk about that later but this this is basically um, what we've done we've added a specific kind of um, package and the package can be found can be analyzed by you guys here Arch Linux config deep and git double click it go inside to uh, take a look at the dependencies and the files so these guys like the variety desktop uh, settings in the dconf database but there is something specific for the key bindings, so all these Ctrl Alt T stuff, and uh, like for instance Ctrl Shift Escape stuff, everything is working as we are. Um, well, since we have this finger memory, you know all these keyboard shortcuts that work on XFC, Openbox, i3, PSP, WM, Awesome, etc., etc. Twelve desktops at this point in time, we have them here too. So there's a uh, configuration file for the deeping terminal. That's why it looks uh, that beautiful and other files as well. So Ctrl Alt T, let's quickly take a look because it's, it's a beautiful uh, little terminal that they provide us and you can switch theme so easily. Take a look at all the themes that there are and I've just chosen one theme that pretty much looks the same as Super Termite. This is a menu. So it's a kind of well an overview of icons like we are, are accustomed to in, in GNOME more or less but it's more versatile you can have here these elements and say okay just music video graphics office development system or just like this or you can make it even smaller so this is your standard terminal I mean menu with the settings the shutdown buttons up here and you can make it big again so a lot of things are pleasing our eye candy and it's just up to you to find out what theme you like and there's also settings you can go into like the opacity you can say let's make it lots lighter or darker so that's up to you to see uh, what you like for opacity so we've made a choice we've made the font size of and, and, and a font itself and lots of other elements have been tweaked and themed but you can change any of those instantly like so like so like so like so like so so a lot of choices here and we chose breeze i believe so there you go that's just the terminal deeping terminal there are a lot of deeping stuff to test out so it's gonna be a real learning phase for me so great so deeping clone is here deeping boot manager is here maker is here the system monitor, you just saw it, a beautiful system monitor, but I believe there was also another way. The dark theme is there. There is also the compact mode that's there. Dark theme is off again. So there is some stuff to lure you to 
this um, particular desktop because it's quite eye candy to have a overview like this with all these gorgeous I think they're called in English uh, these circles that are filling up or or they have this color because of the CPU usage so it's um, it's a super uh, element or application in, in general and desktop in general but it has its specific um application so what you do is you type for instance deeping some tips if you start typing deeping tap tap you see all the applications that come with it as specific being deeping right deeping image viewer and the movie the music the picker screen recorder I'm not a real fan of that i stick to my simple screen recorder screenshots system monitor terminal okay so a lot of elements then there's another thing you should know that's stuff that starts with DDA. DDA gives also some information like the calendar, the DDA control center. The control center is actually this guy, this icon up here. And this is eye candy, right? So you get here all the overview of all the elements you could possibly want to change. And we're going to go into detail later. So that's your control center here, the dock you see not the plank or anything of the other applications it's a specific doc from dda which is good enough i mean okay so you don't if you move over the icons it does not get bigger or anything it does not zoom out or so something like that but it does the job it's it's great the file manager is there the launcher is there so the launcher this is what they call the launcher the shutdown, of course, you need to shut down. Nice, beautiful shutdown, a little bit transparent. Um, nice. And those are the most important elements in here. Well, maybe we should um, just update the machine in the meantime. So do your stuff. I see it's all red. Or is he asking my, oops, is he asking my password? Yes, he's asking my yes, that's enough. Okay. So while he's updating, we are going to have a look at the settings. So we can change the account. Okay, create an account. I've changed it to an uh, parrot the other day. So, okay, so now we have a parrot, but it's almost the 14th of February. Why not a heart? And there is a little heart up here. So everything is just working. Auto login is working, but it's because we set it in etclightdm.com. Remember the file? That's where we say auto login, Eric. And then everything happens, the magic happens. Display, you can make it bigger, not that I've tried. So the display scaling. So if you want to make the, the icons and the, the text a little bit bigger, my resolution is correct. Brightness can be changed if I'd like that, but in the virtual box anyway no effect uh, rotate and um, i did not touch that um, everything is fine as is and on default applications you can just say okay that application or that application for music video picture terminal and so on we have uh, the personalization which is most fun of course that's the arc dark maybe and then we go and scroll over to maybe all the way at the bottom there is a fire or somewhere this is a bit strange maybe a little word so theme means anything to theme meaning it's not the art theme only it's the window themes it's the icon themes it's the cursor themes so it's the word theme that actually binds them all together uh, like for instance the C icon which is an icon that's coming from deeping itself looks like this but we've already also installed uh, Sapphiro, remember? So control center is now this steering wheel. <laughs> I have to look where it was. Surf and Gods is indeed, when, I, when you see this image, then this icon is new. Surf and, and Sardi, they have their own icon now for the file manager for deeping. Otherwise it was a copy from Junar, right? So the same file for, the sa for another application, same icon, I mean for the same application was no longer suited. So I made a new icon for it. That's that. Sapphiro, where are you? Here it is, Sapphiro icon theme, got an update. So that looks like this. So, but you know, choices, this is so, so personal. 
and you need to change from time to time anyway so you can change your cursor any way you see fit i'd rather not take a left-handed but a breeze no that's my choice so themes fine themes the fonts have not changed the fonts but you can if you want to not all sans monospace change the font and font size and enable window effect so at this point in time i set it to off because we're on virtual box and uh, sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work but as virtual box it's not intended to be installed in a virtual box installed on a regular machine you'll see that this menu becomes then transparent as well as a dock and that's basically more or less it the wired network card is on we're connected we can do a dsl vpn system proxy network details some output volume the speakers on or off microphone is on or off and you can go more advanced to select which channel actually which hardware uh, component you want to use for it some sound effects yes that's uh, my personal choice i've killed all the system sound effects sorry for your lovers that like these these sounds when you boot up at some point in time i woke up the whole family and said okay you're gone i'm always always an early bird but not my family so the sound effects you can just click pop and it's on again time and dates auto sync time settings power management uh, we've set this guy to safe it all depends on your hardware the settings you use so at this point in time the computer will not suspend never ever but the screen will just uh, well be black after 10 minutes and a password is required you can set it to no scrolling speed double click speeds all the things you feel that's normal also the natural scrolling this is more for the people that um, have a touchpad right a laptop repeat delay repeat rate enable numeric keyboard so if you have a separate one you can enable it with uh, well on your keyboard of course but also here and uh, keyboard layout is belgian system english and here are this is the hard work all the shortcuts and our hard work starts here custom shortcut super f1 vivaldi stable ctrl alt w sublime text super f7 virtual box alt p previous variety alt f um, is favorite of variety etc etc ctrl alt v vivaldi stable and then we scroll 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 a lot of custom shortcuts that's the fun since our fingers seem to remember what we need to launch and how to launch a firefox control alt f etc that's it i'm not going to talk about the boot menu since we have a special kind of uh, uh, thing for that but you can do that as well change the image at your in your group menu grub menu all right um so this is basically um your uh, settings there are even more settings i'm just came to think of the following you can actually change with right mouse click go to the efficient mode and then you have this kind of look right and again say let's do it like this and oh i mean like this and then you have a normal menu like you always have with these icons up here down here nothing extraordinary anymore but just a menu the way you like it maybe and you can say to the toolbar or the, the panel here keep shown keep hidden smart heights and make the size large small so make it a little bit um, different you just put it on the top so a lot of stuff can change it's all the ways the way how you would like it and you can say okay i'm gonna have it like this make it big again and um, well a lot of tweaking and theming it's, it's great that we can have uh, another choice smart height when you click on here and you launch something like this then it's gone the menu is gone but it's there it's it's just waiting for you to activate something so basically i hope that looking at all these tips and tick tweaks and, and the keyboard shortcuts and all that um, that you are convinced maybe maybe you should give it a try and dipping is is really uh, deserves your attention i'm i'm really um well falling in love is is a big word but i'm very pleased with the result we we can give you 
and Deeping feels very, very good, stable, design-wise, beautiful. So yeah, give Deeping a try. All right, cheers.